what's popping, what's popping. You see, if you give up on your goals, if you give up on what you love, if you give up on the life that you want for yourself, it's going to come a day when you regret it. You know, it's a lot of things <laughs> that I I used to regret. But as I got older, I said, OK, it is what it is. You know, because I, man, look, in my life, I gave up on a lot of shit, even some good women, <laughs> you know. Because I always had that attitude, like, fuck it, I get it again. You know, I always had that attitude, you know. And you don't want to go through life giving up on stuff. Wherever you start, you want to finish. That's why I, I cannot give up on photography, you know. I have, to have the, I have to have books coming out, you know, my own personal books. Me not signed to nobody, you know. I have to be doing my own personal projects. I have to capture my family. I have to, you know, capture my nieces and my daughter in photos. You know, that's something I have to do for the rest of my life. You know, once you get bitten by that bug, it's a wrap. <laughs> it's a wrap. You know, I talk to so many people every day and they all say, oh, I just love photography. I bought a camera, but I don't. Man, I'm telling you, if you got a camera, pick that motherfucker up and start shooting. You know, pick that motherfucker up. Even when it comes to your music, I hear a lot of people with their music. Oh, I, I used to write music. I used to uh, be in a band. Man, what are you doing? Yeah, I know life happens. But that's the reason why a lot of people be so stressed and depressed. Because they stop doing the things they love. And now you just a robot holding a phone and scrolling and watching everybody else's life. No, get back to the things you used to love. That's really the hack in life. Getting back to the things you used to love as a, as a teenager, as a child. You used to love skating. Go buy you some skates. Go buy you some rollerblades and go skating. Put put the music in your head. Man, you know the best feeling is having some music. Man, look, we used to go to the skating rink, and they used to play this song by Shaw Kingston called Beautiful Girl. <laughs> Man, when that song used to come on, everybody used to skate like they was a pro. <laughs> this shit was so fun. And see, that's the problem with life. As we get older, a lot of people, a majority of people stop having fun. They think fun is just going to the clubs and getting drunk and then going back to work Monday. Man, look, we did that in our early 20s. That's why I can't go to the club no more. That's why I can't, I can't even go into that environment because we did that already. You know, that was fun back then. <laughs> That was fun back then. See, you have to find real life tangible things that that's fun to you. You know, you used to fly kites, but get you a kite. You know, you used to, uh, like I say, you used to draw, start back drawing. You know, start back drawing. That's it's it should be common sense, but it's not because life happens. You know, we uh, we start losing family. We uh we start having heartbreaks, uh we start having health issues, uh you know uh, disappointments. We start disappointing ourselves, and we no longer talk to ourselves in a nice way. We secretly um, bash ourselves. A lot of people are bashing themselves, especially especially men, because we don't really have nobody to uh uplift us daily and stuff like that. So we just hold a lot of shit in, and we just work come home, get a beer, and, you know, we scroll social media and we do it all over again. Weekend, we go out to the club, you know, we fake like we happy, and we do it all over again. But no, you, like, you got to stop that cycle. You have to start doing the things you once loved. You have to get back to it. You know, even if you think you rusty and, you know, you don't guide no more, man, get back to that shit, you know. I don't care who you believe in, God, Allah, whatever you believe in. They put something inside of you that, like I say, that sets your soul on fire. They put something in you that sparks you, that sparks your soul. Your soul needs a spark. The older you get, your, your soul still needs that fire. The older you get, you have to keep putting that fire under your soul. You have to because if you're not, the world is going to crush you. You know, the bad news daily, people gossiping. 
people being negative, you know, it's going to crush you. And trust me, I've been there before. Like I say, I'm 32. I just, I'm just getting everything in order in my life. Just getting my credit right. You know, just living uh, like I'm supposed to be living. You know, it's not over yet. I'm not where I want to be as a photographer. You know, I want to have shoots every day. You know, every day. <laughs> I want to have shoots every day. I want to have two to three shoots every day. You know, and it's coming. I feel like this fall is going to bring is, is going to be my breakout. You know, my breakout time. And I've been preparing myself for this. You know, I've been preparing myself for this. You know, I never, I took a break from photography like in 2019, I think, you know. And I'm glad I did that because I didn't get burnt out. I didn't get burnt out, you know. And, yeah, a lot of people get burnt out on what they love to do. That means you are, uh, that means you mastered it. You got to master something else. Sometimes you got to find something new, you know. You got you to gotta teach your brain something new. You got to become a student again. You know, even as an adult, you got you got to become a student again. You know, so don't give up, man, because I promise you go regret it. You're going to regret it. A lot of people, as they get older, they have regrets. You don't want to be that person. You know, even if you are, you still can get back to it. You know, so you're hearing it from me, like, get back to the things you used to love when you was a kid, when you was a teenager, when you was in your early 20s. Get back to it, man or woman, you know. Get back to those hobbies. That's really your life hack. Don't take life so serious when it comes to, oh, I got to do this for this company, my business. No, what's important is you have to do what you have to do for you. You have to make sure your soul is on fire. Let's go.